Here are 10 tips and tricks for beginners at Naraka Blade Point. Tip number one, AOE looting. It's way quicker just to open up your inventory when there's a bunch of stuff on the ground. It's way easier to loot and saves you plenty of time. Tip number two, weapon soul jades. These will fundamentally change the way your weapon works and they're very, very powerful. Tip number three, dash canceling. You go to charge an attack and you dash. You need at least half of your stand bar to be able to do this or else it won't work. Very quick on getting around the map. Tip number four are purple totems. You'll find these scattered throughout the match. They cost nothing to activate and once activated, you'll see a giant purple dome. Anybody that steps foot in there is silenced and not allowed to use their ultimate. And it's a giant area. Just look how big this area is. Tip number five, food buffs. There's four. The red salic will buff your defense. The yellow pears will buff your offense. The dandelions will silence your footsteps. And the fireflies will give some ultimate. Tip number six are these little red bushes. Crouch in these to turn invisible. And once you step out, you'll become visible again. You can use these for some sneaky plays. Tip number seven are quests. There's all different kinds of quests scattered throughout the map. Pick these up for another way to get gear and money aside from killing players to spend later on in the match. Tip number eight, soul jade swapping. As you tell on the right, I have common soul jades and then rare ones on the left of the same type. You don't have to drag these over. You can just click on them and it'll automatically swap them out. Tip number nine, Lucky Soul J bag. If you have everything you need and a lot of money, just spam that to see if you can get anything good. Tip number 10 are Morris Blessings. These are a specific chests that will spawn during the match. It'll tell you when and where they're spawning. They have some of the best loot during the match and highly contested, so you'll want to get there first. Bonus tip, Soul Bloom Essence. When you kill somebody, there will be a red glow on their body letting you know there's still one there. When you pick these up, it'll give a little bit of ultimate health and shield back. So during a big fight, pick these up to quickly heal up. And that'll wrap up the video. Thank you for stopping by and we'll see you soon with more tips and tricks and montage videos for Naraka Blade Point.